What is going on you amazing human being? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be reacting to Free Run Beyond Journey's End episode 6 and 7. Should be a good episode. If you like my content, hit the like button. Consider subscribing and hit that notification bell so you can keep up to date. Without further ado, let's jump straight into it. Alright, last episode we saw it was Stark. He was insanely strong. Yeah, left by your training. And then, yeah, he gives this look like hero of the village. But yeah, he looks back and he gives this look like... Like, so what? But just before that, we saw he was kind of like a coward. I wonder if the two of them are gonna, you know, become fond of each other. But I mean, it is all based off of a lie anyways, right? So maybe that's making him feel guilty. But like in any quest, right? You've got your mages and now you've got your, your fighter, your warrior up front. So their team should be able to defeat the dragon. And then Freerun can get her spell that makes you see see through people's clothes which i found was quite interesting maybe i'd actually run away oh so aizen gave him that scar not the shadow dragon his character design is super good though red hair you know just kind of sticks out the calluses on his hands are insane Wait, she's already fought a monster. We never saw this. We never saw this. Like, we've seen her whole journey. For some reason, Miss Freerun wouldn't help me. Oh. She fi oh, she finished it off. A hopeless coward, oh my goodness. I do have a feeling that he's gonna be able to defeat the dragon. Maybe he's already gone off to the dragon. <laughs> oh, he's there. For 30 seconds, wow. Oh, here it is. Although this dragon just seems so chilled, though. Whoa, what is that? Like, this is what I'm saying. Look at some of the monsters and things in the show. And they kind of just like, it's almost like throwaways. Like, oh, look, we fought this thing. The potential keeps rising every time I watch. Because it's like, if that's how these things are drawn and designed, it's a I mean, I mean, I'm losing my words here, but the fights, the, the enemies that are actually going to become a part of the story are going to be amazing. Especially once they go now to the, um, I was going to say the demon continent, but the demon king's old castle. What do they call it? Ender. It's being cautious. It's scared of him. Oh, fire breathing dragon. Let's go. Stock. A powerful opponent. The animation is looking clean. I already like Stark. Let's go. We parted in anger. Because he was stronger than Aizen probably. I was afraid of him. <laughs> Let's go Stark. We'll become an incredible warrior. Oh, it took its nails off. Let's go. I mean, has it not already been 30 seconds? Here it is. Bro. Amazing. It's probably already dead. Oh my goodness, he finished it. An old hag. Oh my goodness. One tapped. You did well. <laughs> Free, I've never seen Freerun like that. <laughs> that's the happiest I've heard her ever. Oh my, that's, that was actually a good moment. I liked hearing her like celebrate like that. Oh, so some other hero was killed. So obviously there's a lot of people who went to try to defeat him. And they were the first to do it. Now he really is the hero. Oh, 
<laughs> oh my gosh. They called him out like that, bro. They're always being blocked at some point, right? Like, remember the ghosts, the phantom? That was also blocking the pass, the canyon pass. So it kind of gives them, like, a quest. But yeah, because she shops at every single place that she gets to. Like I said, they probably gonna like each other. Oh, the death stare. Two years until the checkpoint opens. Whoa, that looks delicious. Damn, so he knew Aizen for a long time. Oh, there she is. And he's probably gonna share it with her anyways. <laughs> but here's the other thing time i've discussed time in the series before so they will jump two years if they have to the merchant's guild bro this guy is incredibly strong and you've got the face of a scoundrel like look at what he did to the mountain you're telling me he couldn't do that you'll split someone in half you know what i just had crazy deja vu and it's tripping me out i feel like i've seen them standing on like the same two characters looking over somewhere a long time ago that was weird like in a dream or something i feel like i saw that and now it's like i'm seeing it very weird <laughs> He basically wants him to have the same experience that he had. Like the 10 year journey was the, was Aizen's, you know, that was the highlight of his life. And he obviously ended things badly well, with um, Stark. So that's like his gift, you know, he wants him to experience the same. But it is interesting that she's the only elf we've seen. But then again, I guess Aizen's the only dwarf we've seen. Oh wow, they know her. Oh, they might let her through. Oh, so the, the Demon King does have forces left. Oh my goodness, she can pass. But that's what I was saying was that she's a hero. They defeated the Demon King. So she might have like forgot, I guess. But is there not statues of them? <laughs> he almost reminds me a little bit of Himmel. I wonder who else they're gonna have join their crew. <laughs> Freerun is actually hilarious because like she catches you by surprise. So this is just I'm jumping straight into episode seven. But what I was saying is that Freerun is hilarious because it catches you by surprise because she's so like dead ass the whole time and then she'll do something that's like full of energy and it's, it's hilarious. But this is episode seven now. But I mean, it's literally her master. If she could draw, right? If she like practiced drawing all this time, she could draw pictures. Oh, wow. <laughs> she could like draw these people's faces. We must be sure to praise her like, <laughs> like she's a kid or something. But yeah, this episode's called Like a Fairy Tale. So where's, this is Eng Road, located in the Northern Lands. So even through these travels, there's all these little things that they keep doing for people, right? They help the guy on the beach clear the, um, the wreckage. Now they're clearing the road. So it's kind of like, it's not about the main big thing that you end up doing on your journey. It's about all the little things things on the way and just kind of getting lost in the moment which is interesting i wonder if we're gonna actually fight or fight <laughs> see another demon because quail quail whatever his name was looked pretty interesting <laughs> mr stark 
<laughs> oh my gosh, and then she just goes back to that. Okay, are we gonna get a little bit of information from elves? This is what I was saying. Interesting. Wow, this is interesting. I want to know a bit of the backstory. Oh, wow. So they're just dying out because they don't smash. 400 years ago. Crazy. So much to uncover. So much to unpack. And that's one of the cool things. It's, it's so relaxing watching the show now that I think about it. Like it doesn't have to be intense. It doesn't have to always be something crazy. The fight with the... Oh, okay. Here we got some demons. Wow. Almost looked like a chimera in a way. So they also got it over here as well. Oh yeah, right. I mean, we experienced that today, right? Like with World War Two and stuff, people of today, the younger people, like, it's just something, it's just a, a thing in history, you know? But what I was saying is, it doesn't need to be intense, every episode doesn't need to be crazy intense. There's something about this, like I said the last time, it's like reading a novel. You're just going page by page, you're finding things out, they uncovering a bit of this and a bit of this every time, a bit of this and a bit of that every time. So it's actually kind of relaxing to watch this and just enjoy it and see where it goes. We're not fairy tales. Heaven. Graf Granat's domain. More knights, more soldiers, more trouble. Freerun is obviously going shopping. Demons. Oh. Wow. Graf Granite. Lord Lugna. It just keeps getting more and more interesting. Aren't you? Imitate human speech, but can't communicate. Wow. Bro, I did not think that the demons were like that. Like, just like, you know, like humans, like more like humanoids. So all the ones that we've seen, like I said, that chimera looking thing, and then quail. This guy looks like he just could be another species of something, like of human, you know? Shorter than I expected. Or the guillotine. Seven sages of destruction. Wasn't Quail uh, one of them as well? We gained a power 28 years ago. Man eating monsters. Backstory, okay? Ate our daughter. Wow. It's probably gonna kill this guy and his family. And let me guess, she was right. Wow. Wow, twisted, but they don't because she doesn't understand. <gasps> oh. oh, my goodness, the show is intense. No concept of family. Oh my goodness. 
Oh my goodness. Crazy. Very interesting. <laughs> wow. I don't know what it is, but I'm glad I didn't stop watching the show. Wow, so he actually gets it. Interesting. That's crazy. The demons killed him, probably. Oh, wow. Look now. These guys are probably super strong. You know, look, he's scanning the room to use some way to communicate with him, to get him to drop his guard. Since he killed him, he's super fast. Oh my goodness. But look, she's obviously a magic user. And that's obviously the mistake. Do you not notice how he quickly... <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness so quick and smart the way he scanned the room like what can i use to my advantage oh so he wants to lower the barrier she seems like she's gonna be an interesting character i don't see draught oh is he going to try kill frigirin Whoa! What? Guillotine or the guillotine? Done pretending to negotiate. And she doesn't have a staff. Just so you know, I'm strong. Let's go, Freerun. Stronger than all of the guillotine. Wow, amazing. Wow, and just like that, Free Run is now one of my favorite shows. And it was like I was saying before, right? I was kind of getting annoyed. But now that I've like came up with that comparison that it's like reading a long novel. You're not just gonna continuously get like action and stuff. And every page you're gonna learn a little bit more and you're gonna figure a little bit more out. And that's what we're seeing with this. We got to see that she actually spoke about the elves that I was wondering about, you know, and we found out why their numbers are getting smaller. And we saw Stark take on the dragon, he finished it off by himself and showed you how strong he really is which was awesome to see. I actually think that him and Fern, almost forgot her name, him and Fern will end up liking each other. And now we met the first demons from this time. You know, we met Quail and she kind of had that flashback where she saw that one demon and it kind of, it just looks like a monster, right? It just looks like, whoops, it just looks like a beast. But now we see that, oh, so they actually resemble humans, but just with horns. And, and that, it's crazy how just that idea of they just, understanding human speech because they hunt humans and they use these key words that mean a lot to humans in order to get them to drop their guard like he said my father was killed and he doesn't even know what that is the way he scanned the room like oh you've been keeping this clean so they're very cunning very smart and free run obviously understands that and now it's opened up this whole can because what they're really trying to do is get him to drop the barrier so that her army can run in there so this barrier in itself is also quite interesting that whoever could put it up is able to make it that strong it's a very interesting stuff we might see free run in a first like really big fight now which is going to be interesting to see because he just he just took that god's head off like with one swipe so he himself is pretty strong and then i'm amped to see what happens <laughs> i was even thinking do i just watch the next episode but no we won't do three but that was really good really i'm really enjoying free run now but that's going to be it for me if you watching thanks for watching if you like free run hit the like button subscribe for more got much more content on my channel and obviously hit that notification bell so that you stay up to date with it but that's going to be it for me i'm out peace in a bit